All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today we are gonna be taking on arguably the hardest of the four new Gods of Destructions that we got in part two of the sixth anniversary. And that would be our beloved Universe 7, God of Destruction, Beerus. Now, before part two started, a lot of people were telling me to look out for Beerus. You know, he's really difficult. He hits really hard. He uh, has the rage mechanic and all that stuff, but the thing is, this team we have here is now so busted, it's so OP that I really don't think we're gonna have too much trouble, but we'll see, we'll see. So in terms of the team, it's obviously a uh, reps of Universe 7 team, and uh, of course we have the Tech Khalifla for the dodges, but otherwise there's two AGL LR UI Gokus, we have the STR UI Goku, the LR Blue Boys, LR SSB Vegeta, and also this beast, the uh, AGL Fit Boo. So that's the setup, and without further ado, let's jump into it and see what happens. Okay, so first rotation, ooh, we got both of the UI Gokus. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. And let's see, wow, okay, so Basically, all the no, literally all the attacks are in the first slot. Uh, I think I'm gonna put the SDR UI there just because we want him to build up his passive, right? So, uh, hopefully, he dodges most, if not all, of these attacks. But, uh, all right, so here we go. Here we go. Not a bad first rotation. I'm a little bit worried though, just in case he doesn't dodge, he's gonna take. Oh my god, okay, please dodge this. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, that would have been so bad. Because <laughs> his defense was really low, right? It was only at like 100k uh, before he dodges. So like, yeah, that that could have been death for us, man, if you had to dodge that. That's three dodges. That's four dodges. Okay, we got hit by one. Five. Okay. Ooh, okay. So we took three hits. Five dodges. He needs two more for a full passive. But, um... Yeah, 5 for 8 is not bad. 5 for 8 is not bad. That's pretty much his dodge chance, actually, right? About 70%. Hold on. Uh, yeah, somewhere in that range. I don't know. Mental math is hard, but <laughs> it's close. It's close. All right, so now we have Khalifla. She's going to dodge everything. Um, I guess I'll just leave her where she is. And then I do trust, you know, the AGL UI Goku to also get a lot of dodges. I know recently I've been complaining a lot because like my, my UI Gokus have been getting hit by supers pretty consistently. But for today at least, like specifically today, in the couple of videos I've made, they've been really good. So I'm gonna continue trusting them. I think uh, it's just a good dodging day for them. So yeah, that'll be okay. Oh my God, Beerus though. Yo, it's like a... It's like a dodge party right now, man. Everybody's dodging. <laughs> what is happening? Khalifla obviously is dodging. STR UI is dodging. AGL UI is dodging. Beerus, though, is also dodging. All right. So this might go a little bit longer than I would like it to, but uh, that is fine with me. All right, so we're going to do STR UI in the front once again. His defense now should be much better. Let me see. 169,000. Nice. And then 18 key for UI and 18 key for SSBE. Okay, give me some more dodges. Come on, give me like two more. Come on, one. There we go. So our passive should be fully maxed out now. And look at that, over seven or close to seven million attacks that for STR UI. So even though we have the easy A, right? We do have the int UI easy A. I think this guy is still very much uh, well, usable, obviously. He's definitely usable, but he has, a, he has a place on the Realm of Gods team. He has a place on the reps of Universe 7 team, and I would run them in different situations. You know, like, for, for example, for the STR UI, I think he's better for these, like, medium, short to medium length events, whereas for, you know, the uh, INT UI, he's much better for the super long events, like the... Uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, legendary Goku event or Infinite Dragon Ball History or any other events that are kind of similar to that. Um, just because, you know, you have a lot more turns to stack and he does stack attack and defense. So his defense in the long run and his attack actually 
will be much better than STR UI, but in the short to medium term, the STR UI, I believe, still has the advantage. So, there you go. They're both good. And of course, once we get the same name update, just run all of them, because they're both amazing. They're all amazing. Uh, even the Fizz one, the Fizz uh, free-to-play UI Goku is also amazing. So, just run your full you know, UI Goku team. You'll be good to go. Uh, ooh, I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this one. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the active skill first. Blue boys, though, scare me a little bit, so I might have to... I think I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake, even though, obviously, we're at full HP. But I need that damage reduction, just in case. Just in case Beerus decides to... Super the blue boys. Crit? Ah, no crit. Good damage, though. Good damage. Okay. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna pop the Princess Snake, just, just to be extra safe. Uh, let's see, I'll give just one orb to Khalifla, give these to UI. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I was trying to get the Fizz orbs, but... Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> so that item was definitely a good call, because they didn't even get any uh, extra defense from their super now, so... I'm just really, really hoping, man, fingers crossed, that the blue boys don't take a super. Normals will be fine. With 30% damage reduction, we'll take the normals fine. It's just... Man, a super's gonna be really bad. It could one-shot us. I can't say for sure, but I'm, I'm scared. I'm really scared, guys. Okay, triple super from UI. That's good. Triple super is good. It's not gonna be enough, though. It's not gonna be enough to fish him off. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Super me, super me. Thank you. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. And of course he doesn't dodge that. But it's just not a big deal. It's not like we're taking much damage anyways. It's all good, it's all good. Oh my God, look at that damage. If they had been able to, like to be fair, right? If they had been able to get more orbs, um, we, you know, they, they wouldn't have taken nearly as much damage, but um, we weren't able to give them more orbs, so yeah, as you can see, 100k per normal, <laughs> 100k per normal. The cool thing is, I think the next time we come around, we should be able to get the revival skill. Granted, we're probably going to kill Beerus this turn, but if we don't kill a Beerus this turn, then we'll be able to get the revival skill next time, I think. I'm pretty sure my MUI or my AGL UI Goku took three hits. Or was it two? It doesn't really matter. Not a big deal. And this guy took two hits too. I don't think it matters either way. Like, like I said, um, I'm pretty sure we're gonna kill him now. Oh! Oh, maybe not. Hold up. Okay, we might actually get a revival skill activation in this video. Oh no, we can't. See, I thought I thought maybe it was two. So it turns out it was two because if we had taken three hits, then we would have the you know the little heart like glowing on fire, right? Didn't get it though. So clearly we didn't get th the three hits that we needed. But that's gonna do it, guys. AGL UI Goku finishing things, finishing things off. Makes sense, he was the MVP of this run, of course. He's usually the MVP of any team he's on. Wasn't expecting that. But but either way, he was the MVP still. And he's just so good, man. He's usually the MVP of like any team that he you put him on, just because he hits so hard, uh, the dodges are so clutch, and uh, you know the active skill is great, revival skill especially if you get that off. That, that literally saves your life, right? So, uh, yeah, Beerus, down, complete. And it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Um, obviously, I understand that like some people are gonna struggle more than others because like your team might not be as stacked. Uh, I am a bit of a whale, so like, you know, the, the team is better than the average player, but, um, 
yeah, I, I thought he was okay, man. The one I'm really, really excited for, the one I'm very much, like, iffy about, in terms of, like, whether I can beat him first try, is uh, Belmod in part 3, right? Because Belmod apparently can... I heard he can uh, lock your rotations, which is super annoying. Locking rotations is, like, the worst. And maybe also stun or seal. I was one of those, I forgot, but he can do a lot of stuff to you, man, like a lot of negative stuff, so that one should be much more challenging. Beerus, though, not too bad, not too bad. So there you go, guys, that is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the TAM video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now and while you're at it. Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.